Today we're gonna to learn how to play the Song of Storms on 12 hole ocarina, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is David and welcome back for another Ocarina tutorial. And if you're new to the channel, I post Ocarina tutorials and music videos every Saturday. So if you like to keep learning and feel inspired every single week, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Today I'm using the 12 hole Ocarina of Time from Songbird Ocarina, which is tuned in C. And if you're looking for a new Ocarina, go to songbirdocarina.com, use my code David10 and get 10% off your entire order. So how these tutorials work is I'm gonna break down the song into several sections and those sections will be down below as video chapters so you can skip around as much as you need. If you'd like to make things a little easier, I have the sheet music and Ocarina tabs available for download right now over on my Patreon page, along with 32 other popular songs for the Ocarina that you'll get as soon as you become a member. So feel free to pause the video if you'd like to go download that. Otherwise, let's get started with section one. So this song will actually work not only on a 12 hole ocarina with the sub holes, but also a 10 hole and an 11 hole as well. As long as it is a transverse ocarina and it's in the key of C, you can play it with this video. So there are four parts to the song. We're gonna break each part into two sections. So part one, section one is gonna be D, F, D. And those are kind of big leaps going from D, F, and then to D. When you're playing that high D, you notice it starts to get a little bit wobbly. So we're gonna use our right pinky to balance it uh, when we play up to that part. So watch how I do it. I go. See my right pinky is there on the tip or the nose of the ocarina. And it's also here on my left thumb to give it extra balance. Let's try that together. And we're gonna go kind of slow because this part's fast. One, two, three, one and two and three. If you need to practice that a couple times, that's fine. Let's move on to the next part, which is high E, F, E, F. You might notice that it starts to sound a little bit breathy on the high register of your ocarina. So what you can do is something called the acute bend technique, which is where you literally bend down so that the ocarina is parallel to your chest and it should mystically clear up the sound and give you a purer tone. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna play high E, high F, high E, high F. One, two, three. And this whole section is E, F, E, F, E, C, A. Let's try it together very slow. One, two, three. One and two and three. It might be a little bit tough to cover both thumbs at ears at the same time, so you gotta practice that. But also notice that I'm balancing the ocarina with my right support fingers, which gives it a lot more uh, stability. So we're gonna try that again. E, F, E, F, using your right support fingers. Here we go. One and two and play. Again, you might need to practice that a couple times, but we're gonna go back to the top now, play those two parts together. One, two, three, one, ready, play. Moving on to the next part, it's A, D, F, G, A. Let's try that together. One and two and play. Nice. The next part is almost exactly the same. The main difference is the last note. So we're gonna play A, D, F, G, E together. One and two and play. Let's play those two parts together, starting with A. One, two, three, one, ready, play. One more time, here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, play. Very nice. This next part is exactly the same as the beginning. Low D, F, high D, low D, F, high D. Together, one and two and play. And then 
E F E F E C A. Let's play that together. One, ready, play. And then finally, the last part, A, D, F, G, A, A, D. Let's try that. One, ready, play. One more time. One, ready, play. All right, we're gonna go back and play the whole thing from the beginning, starting with low D. One, two, three, one and two, and play. Great job. A big thank you to my patrons for making this video possible. And if you'd like to learn more about playing the ocarina and how to read sheet music, check out my YouTube series, How to Play Ocarina, along with my playlist of tutorials for other popular songs on ocarina. Great job today, keep practicing, and I'll see you next week.